welcome back to my channel for another video so in today's video is going to be something completely different so you guys know that i moved and you know i've been trying to get my apartment and stuff all together so i've been doing these little diy canvases and stuff this is going to be my third set that i've made so to start this project of course you're going to need some paint you can get paint from anywhere it can be any color that you want you're going to need some type of pouring medium. Um, you can use pouring medium. A, uh, you can use alcohol. So you can use Mod Podge. Or you can use, simply use soap and water. And that's what I'm going to be using in today's video. So I got this dark brown paint. I got a tan color paint. And I got like a light, not light, but like a cream white color. And excuse Chanel, you guys. Chanel decided that she wants to be all up in my video. So you guys are going to see little appearances of her in my videos in this video throughout the video as well so what i'm doing is prepping my cups for my with my paint so i'm just pouring my i'm pouring each color in each in one of each cup and then i'm taking the next color and i'm pouring that one in the next cup and i'm sorry that my camera is shaking she, like i said chanel was just all up in my space while i was trying to record so i'm sorry about that taking my handy dandy soap I already got cup in that water and I'm just putting a little bit of soap in there you don't need a lot of soap you just need a little bit of dish detergent and of course you want to use plastic spoons or you can use a uh, wooden sticks to stir up your mixture and the pouring medium is to make the paint flow like easily across the canvas because if you just if you're not mixing the paint with anything it's not going to do nothing. So, of course, you need some type of pouring medium. I've actually used a pouring medium in one of my, on my other canvases. And then, like, on the other, the second one that I made, I used soap and water. And it came out the same. So, I'm just going to stick with soap and water because it's free and it's cheap. So, now I'm pouring my, um, my mixture medium into the paint. And you want to pour just a little. You just want to pour enough. Um, if you put a lot, it's going to be a very, the consistency, consistency is going to be very runny. And if you don't pour enough, it's going to be like, it's going to be really thick. So if it's like, if it gets really runny, you can just pour a little bit more paint in, in the cup to, uh, make it a little bit more thicker. But like I say, you don't want it too, you don't want the consistency too thick because if it's too thick, the paint is not going to flow. And that what that is, this is exactly what it looks like. I was trying to get it to be clear, but it wasn't focusing. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to continue the same process until everything is done. You also want to make sure you're wearing gloves, protecting your hands, because if not, you're going to get paint all over you. So the canvas I'm using is a 16 by 20 canvas that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. You can either get them from Hobby Lobby or you can get them from Michaels. They're always on sale and there's always a coupon to use. Or there's um, canvases that's even in Ross. They, Ross have canvases that they sell too. So what you want to do is just put your, uh, your paint down in whatever fashion you want to put them down in. Some people do puddles. I'm just doing lines across my canvas. When you do it like this, it gives it more of an abstract look, if that makes sense. Um, this method is also called the paint pour or the pouring method. Um, and there's different techniques. This is just the, the one that I like to do. I will also link uh, the two videos down in the description box of, of, on how I uh, learned how to do this stuff. So I'm just going to keep put it, pouring more paint down. And you want to be very generous with this because if not, you're going to be pouring forever. And it's going to take take forever for your, uh, your canvas to be covered with paint. So now you want to go in with, oh, well, okay, let, before we move on to the blow dryer, let me just say this. You want to elevate the canvas because if not, they're going to stick onto whatever surface is sticking down on. And um, you want to cover up your surface with trash bag, tarp, whatever you got. 
because you this stuff gets really messy so here I'm just using my blow dryer and I am just blowing once you start to blow the paint it just it starts to take whatever form that it um that it wants to take you can use a heat gun if you have a heat gun I didn't have one so that's why I'm using my blow dryer and you can see that there's paint all over my blow dryer because like I said this is my third set that I've made so my blow dryer is a little messy but it's okay because it still works These are some clips on how it's looking so far. It's turning out really pretty. I picked these colors because it matches the colors of my living room. So now I'm just putting some more paint down on my canvas. Like I said, you wanna keep doing this until the whole canvas is covered. If you have too much of one color, you can always go back in with another color and um, put some more of that color down and mix it or however you want to do it you can like I said you can do bigger canvases you can do smaller canvases you can do whatever color you want that's just the beauty of abstract you can do whatever you want I was trying to get a good angle of this. This is the best I could do. And I, you know, try to zoom in and stuff so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And now I'm just tilting the canvas too. So to get the paint to like, you know, kind of move around so that it's just not like just staying the way like it kind of blow dried out. So you, I kind of tilted some more so it can look a little bit more abstract if that makes sense. a cheap easy way to kind of like fill up space and to decorate um if you're on a budget um you know if you don't want to spend like two to three hundred dollars and stuff on these paintings you can you know easily just make your own and yes i know i'm in the same clothes from my other video i film both of these video videos in the same day i don't film multiple days I always feel all my videos in one day because your girl works throughout the week, okay? So that's why you guys see that I'm in the same, like, uh, same fit from my other video. Like I said, you just want to continue the same process until your uh, canvas starts to fill up. You want to be very generous with the paint or else you're going to be doing this all day. And as you can see, I tried to like turn my blow dryer in different directions so that like the paints are spreading and the colors are like actually kind of like mixing in with each other. And you know, say if I want like the darker brown going more so one way, I will kind of flick it that, that w in that direction so that the paint can go towards that way as well. So it's kind of like me just kind of spreading it out, if that makes sense. I also wanted to film this video because, you know, I've been watching a lot of DIY videos. I really like them. So I wanted to, like, bring more to my channel. I've also done some other DIYs for my apartment. And once I started making these paintings, I've been getting asked a lot on how I made these paintings. So that's another reason as to why I filmed this video. So hopefully it'll help you guys out there that, you know, want to jazz up your apartment. Or if you just want something to put on your wall, something cute. Because, like I said, these it's a um, cheap enough cheap and effective way of decorating um and it's inexpensive it's really not it's not expensive at all to make these your own make your own paintings as long as you got some paint a canvas and a blow dryer you're good to go and your pouring medium that's all you need you can even go on like top of it with glitter if you want one of the paintings the painting that i made for my room i actually put glitter on top of it um yeah so it's you know just to give it up a more glam look
Now we're gonna do some more tilting to kind of move the paint around. There's like another method of painting that I wanna try. If I decide to go ahead and try it, I will film it so you guys can see it. I really like making these paintings because, you know, it's it's exactly, it's kind of like exactly what you want. I never just like to buy stuff just to be buying stuff. Um, so, you know, it just, I don't know, it kind of helps me save money and it's, is me making what I exactly what I want it has the colors in it too that makes sense so here you just gonna see me filling in a little bit of white spaces that do not get uh, touched with paint um, so that's what I'm doing right here and you kind of want to just tilt it and if you're gonna use your finger to kind of like fill in the spaces don't press too hard because you don't want to see no fingerprints on your uh, on your work. So now that I'm gonna go, I'm going to go in with this foam brush that I already had. Um, excuse my ashiness; it's a little ashy in this video, but that is not the focus point of this video. I'm just gonna go over the sides of the canvas so that everything comes together. You don't want to have like a bomb painting and your sides looking crazy. So you want to make sure that your sides are covered as well. So here are some clips on how it looks after I was done. It came out really, really, really pretty. I was really satisfied with the way it came out. So now what you want to do is wait for it to dry. I left it right here until it was dry and it took two days to completely dry. So we're um, going to go, we're going to move into the next clip. So this is two days afterwards that it's dry and I'm taking this Carlon Kamar varnish and it all it does is protects the painting from any yellowing and you want to do this in a ventilated area because this stuff do not smell pleasant at all and you don't want your place to be like stank with this stuff so you want to take it outside and you also want to cover your nose because you don't want to inhale this stuff either. So I'm just spraying it on top of the paintings. Um, you kind of want to do it in like a um, a quick movement because you don't want to cause any drips on your stuff either. And now I'm going in with this clear glaze uh, from Krylon as well. It gives it like a nice glossy finish. It makes the paintings and stuff come together. And that's it really for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys in the next clip where I decided to put it at like in my living room um because go they're going in my living room and that's it for the video you guys i hope you guys like this video i hope this helps somebody um do not leave without liking commenting and subscribing to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video